Great game, Australian rules football, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And you know what? How many times a week do you train? Once or twice? Twice. 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 For about an hour each time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hours out of 168 hours, which is 168 hours in a week. Now, the point I'm trying to make is you've got to work hard. You've got to do plenty of training. Even when you go home, even when you go home and you may have a kick with your brother or your father along that line, just practice, 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 practice. That's the best one. And the other thing I want, want to mention, I go all over the place, boys. I go all over the place. And sometimes I go to places where I'm actually taking training, taking training, and I see people who aren't paying attention and maybe interfering, messing up somebody else's concentration. That's unfair. Because we are a team. We are a team. And all we've got to make sure we do is everybody works it together. You get the feel of love each other. That's what the good teams are all about. You remember that? Elf made the point. I went to Collingwood and they were on the bottom of the ladder. Hey boys, that's a wooden spoon. This great club first time ever. <coughs> Bang! Right at the top. Back right at the top. We played off the grand final. We drew the grand final, then the following week we had to replay the game. <coughs> and we got beaten. The reason why we got beaten? The best player in the entire competition was one of our players. But where was he when he was needed on grand final day? Days, so there was two of them. He was sitting in the grandstand because he did a stupid, undisciplined act. And he was two weeks suspended. He cost his teammates a premiership. And I bring it up for this reason. We are a team. You do something dumb. You do something dumb out there, it's going to affect the rest of your team. It's different if you are a swimmer, you're the only one that gets affected is you. Or if you are a boxer, because it's you against somebody else. But when you're a team, you've got to remember, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people you've got to affect as well. So if you don't, or say, do something smart, you do something stupid, then maybe whatever. <coughs> You've got to remember, you are affecting a lot of people. And when you think about all the people down this beautiful club, how lucky are you? How lucky are you to be here? And look at all the people who, say, work around the place. They do that for nothing. You coach for a start. He doesn't get paid. But I see him, I see people like this, where players just mess it up. And I think that is so poor. That is so bad. Lack of respect. So you're not babies anymore. What age are you, boys? Nine Well, see, you've been going to school now for four or five years, haven't you? You realise that? You're not babies anymore. You were getting on and on and on. You've been coming to school for four and five years already. So don't forget when anybody talks to you, your teacher, your parent, your coach, eye contact. Nobody takes the place from the person who's actually speaking. Remember that? Because everything's got to go in. Because we're not going to be talking for an hour or anything like that. It might be only 10, 5 or 10 minutes. So you've got to listen to what the coach is saying or your teachers or your parents. And don't your parents know that? Aren't they special people? Aren't they special people? They drop everything to just go around and take you around. Don't they? Never stop with your arms around your mum and dad. Hugging, kissing, tell them how much you love them. I know you do now. Never stop. I did. You know what happened? My dad died. Just like that. He wasn't even ill. Ha! And he's dead. And you know what, boys? I was sitting in that church. I'm only two metres away from the coffin that had my beautiful father. And all I could think about, why didn't I tell him? Why didn't I tell him? Hey, it was a lesson for Tommy Hayfield. I let my mother know. Right up the day she died, or say, right up, right that time, ten years later. I let her know. And funny thing, I was down at a school down Phillip Island. Little girl, put her hand up. Mr. Hayfield, I know where you're coming from. I didn't know my father, and my mother died, got killed two years back. Some of my friends said, I hate your parents. Never hate your parents. Never hate your parents. Just work out and work at home. Make certain your bedrooms are the tidiest in the world. Hey, you know what? Did you know? Did you know? Your mother has made you 1,095 meals every year of your life. How old are you, mate? Nine. Nine. She's already made you 10,000 meals. Can you believe that? So when she says empty the dishwasher, don't argue. Just do it. Have you got the cleanest room in the world and the tidiest? It should be. <laughs> that is yours, isn't it? That is yours. So I just make this point. You've got to have pride. Think about that. Have pride. And make it a job easy for them. Everybody, same thing. Hey, look, I just keep on saying, 
be the best you can be. Go to there. You don't make it? That's not fair yet. That's not fair yet. But you know you'd probably like to be able to say, play like Chris Judd. Hey, be as strong as Jonathan Brown. Wouldn't it be fantastic? Kick like Travis Clark. How good would that be? Hey, but unfortunately, it's going to be tough to do that because God didn't give us that ability. But do you know what, boys? Do you know what? On many occasions, I've given my best player vote to boys who hardly touch the ball. They've only had three and four kicks, but for me, they were the most important players. I've had players, why say, Tommy Dean gets so upset because he, he can't take the big mark. Or kick the long goal. I said, it's not important. Ian's teammates love him. And respect him for what he is. A fair income tryer. The boys, it wouldn't be beautiful if every one of us tries. But just give your best, give your best, give your best. I'm going to ask you to do something for me tonight. Before you go to bed, before you go to bed, I want you to get down on the bed, on the bedroom floor, and do as many push-ups as you can possibly do. If you can only do one or two, that's not important. I want you to write the number you can do on a calendar next to your bed. Because tomorrow night, I want to see if you can beat that number. And so on for one full month. Do you know what? By the end of the month, I'm not going to ask the, uh, the teachers or the coaches, your parents, to remind you, I want you to do it. Hey, by the number, by the end of the month, the number you're doing, you'll be amazed. That's not the reason. I want to see if you've got the discipline. I want to see if you've got the discipline to do somebody, something without anybody being on your back. Now, it's a great exercise for your chest, for your tricep, for your abdominals. That's not the reason. I just want to see. I want to see if you can do as many as you can. Do them correctly. Do them correctly. Go right down. And as I said, you don't have to tell, you, you don't have to tell your best mate. You just see if you can do it. I do a lot. I keep on doing them all the time. That's what Tommy Handy is. I just keep on <coughs> trying to be as fit as I can possibly be. And I think that's the point. But you boys, hey, get the ball out. Get a bucket in the fork of a tree. And go, tell me your right hand. And tell me your left hand. And see how many bullseyes you can get. And same with the kicking. You maybe go back a little bit further. Or maybe kick the ball, kick the ball, kick the ball, kick the ball. Because that's the way you're going to improve. Did you realise that? The more you practice, the better you, the better you become. So I'm just going to ask everyone. Anybody here can't do my push-ups? Fantastic. I do them every day. Do you know how many I did this morning? Two hundred and fifty one. The same number of games that Kevin Sheedy plays for Tommy Heath. That's a fact. Yeah, two fifty one. I coach the great Kevin Sheedy. Yep. I coach Michael Moffat. Yeah, so they're two boys who've won a lot of provision between but I coach them. But I just try and get you to really understand. Look after yourself. Hey boys, boys. Hey, don't ever, ever think of smoking. That is the losers. It's a dirty, filthy habit. I think you'd agree. I think you'll agree. Don't ever do it. Even if parents do it, that's not important. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. And I just think I want you to understand, be as fit as you can possibly be, looking after yourself. Yeah, is there any questions? That... Well, does any... we get someone that want yeah. to ask a question? Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Go first. Um, for the person that didn't um, take the test, mm-hmm. did they get any No way. No way. Fit the day because they super sad. But the fellow will feel calm. And what a star, wasn't he? Yeah. What a star. He was a star. That's part of the competition. And you know what? I was at a function like this one, what we're doing tonight, and Phil was standing next to me. Mary Warren Junior Football Club. Somebody said from there, a question, question to Phil. Phil, how does it feel knowing you cost your teammates a premiership? Pretty tough, but what can he say? He's so sorry now. Hey, boys, don't be sorry after the event. Because I go to jail. I go to jail. And I see that people have gone off track. Yeah. So don't ever do dumb things which is going to embarrass your family, embarrass your school, embarrass your football club. You've got to remember, you are there. You are there. Look at your jump. How good? How good is that? Hey? And if you embarrass that and embarrass all the other people around you, that's just not good enough. I want you to think about that. Yes, please, mate. Can you do some push-ups? Can I do it? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Now. Yeah, try it. Yeah. Oh, my